Hi, I'm Ryan Reeve Morales, the lead producer of the Champions Team. I want to take a little time to talk with you about some of the plans Champions Team has in store for 2021. So last year, we set a goal to ship at least one new champion in every position, with the exception of mid lane, where we wanted to have both a mage and a melee champion. We believe that players shouldn't have to go longer than a year to get a new champion to try in their role. So this is something we plan on doing again this year. Up first on that list is a new jungler, one you just saw in the opening cinematic. That's right, we're finally bringing Viego, the Ruin King, into League as a playable champion. At long last, he's more than just an item. And to prove it, here's a quick peek at the new gameplay he'll be bringing to the Rift. If you want to try him out yourself, he'll be hitting PBE very soon and goes live later this month. So Viego's release is just the start of the Ruin King story. And the next three new champions we will be releasing this year will also tie into Viego's return. Now for a while, we've been wanting to add more magic damage fighters, especially one tailor-made for top lane. We believe snipping a bigger space out of our roster for AP fighters will not only lead to more diversity in top lane, but also more choices for other lanes as well. And with that goal in mind, we began to sew together a new champion for the Ruin King's return. But where do their loyalties lie? With Viego or with Senna and Lucian in the fight for hope? Also, for our internet sleuths out there, we hit a small Easter egg for this champ in the Ruin King game. So let's see if any of you can find it. So after we pass through the new skirmisher, the next champion after that is a gloomy new artillery mage who would prefer if we just didn't even bother her at all. I mean, I don't blame her. These days there's so much skill shots and dashes and hyperactivity around Summoner's Rift. Either way, as tiring as all these champions can be, shooting skill shots everywhere, sure beats being back in that happy-go-lucky Bandle City. She would choose anything over that colorful, horrible, bright place. Now the third champion that'll be part of the Ruin King's return is a marksman. But much like Senna, they are planned for a non-traditional position. It's a bit too early though to say more about this champ, so look out for future roadmaps for a new Sentinel of Light. Now that we've talked about some of our plans for new champions, let's get right into VGUs. So first of all, we're still hard at work on the Dr. Mundo update, which should go live this spring. We really want to amplify Mundo's whole like dark comedy theme while bringing his visuals up to date as well. Last time we shared his new concept, we heard a lot of feedback from players that his hair was a bit too well-groomed for Mundo. We talked as a team about that and we agreed with it. So we updated it to look less well-kept as you can see in the new portrait art shown here. Now as for his gameplay, we still want Mundo to go where he pleases, chucking cleavers along the way. So we'll be keeping a lot of what you love about Mundo intact. But look out for a new dev blog this week that'll go way deeper into Mundo's development. Finally, we announced another Player Choice VGU poll last year. And while we didn't quite make it for 2020, we're happy to say it's coming this week. You'll be able to choose which champion you think we should update next. The poll will include five champions, two returning champions in Shivana and Nocturne, as well as three newcomers in Udyr, Quinn, and Skarner. But before casting your vote, you can learn more about why we chose these champions, what we would consider changing on them, so that you can make the best, most informed decision on who to vote for. This will be coming in a dev blog along with the poll this week. So that wraps it up for Champions Team. I can't wait for you all to see the new champions we have in store for Viego's return, as well as what you think of Mundo's VGU progress. Thanks for watching and see you on the Rift.